Cancer, what is going on, my dears? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again to find out, <clears throat> excuse me, what is going on for March 2019. What's our energies going on for March 2019? Thanks again for everyone who's been like, sharing, and subscribing to all of my videos. <clears throat> excuse me, guys. And thank you to everyone who's been booking personal and private readings. Um, if anyone would like to book a personal private reading, you can do so by clicking the About tab on my YouTube page. There is a blue link at the bottom. There's a hyperlink that says Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. If this video resonates and if you would like to give a love donation, you can do so. There's a PayPal link in the description. Let's get into the energy for the sign of cancer for the month of March. All righty. <clears throat> dear lord thank you again for bringing us here for the sign of cancer thank you so much for that loving and abundant spirit for growth and happiness and progression thank you so much for all of the light and the joy and the fun times that we've been able to experience experience during this um season in our life um there's been a lot of butterflies floating around that's just new beginnings and happiness so um, the sign of cancer is just happy just for you know finally being able to maybe see the sunlight in certain situation and just seeing that you know change needs to happen in order for that happiness and those butterflies to finally come out of that cocoon and you know finish that transition and grow so it could blossom and bloom and, and fly and be in its purpose. So thank you so much for giving the sign of cancer guidance throughout 2019 thus far. Please give us guidance in the month of March. And thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of cancer guidance. Thank you again, Father God. All righty. Let's get into it. Cancer, baby. Baby, baby. <laughs> What's been going on with my cancers? Let's see. Spirit, please give us guidance for the sign of cancer. March 2019. Thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons. Thank you. Please give cancer your overall guidance for the month. Oh. The fairy of the green world. The natural world needs you. Okay, so this is what's going on. So I feel like cancer, you guys, and you know that you guys are very crafty. You guys are, you know, homebodies and you guys are very good caretakers and givers. So a lot of you guys have a green thumb and just have a knack for making things grow. Okay. So, I want you to understand that you're growing in many ways and that the world is growing and it's time for you to grow to the world and it's time for you to give back to the world, okay? So, let is, let's see what this says, 44. I know it's going to say something about y'all eating healthy and taking care of y'all body. I definitely feel that. Y'all definitely need to start taking a little bit better care of y'all body and making sure that y'all are eating, period. Not just work, 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 because you know how cancers are. Cancers chase money. They work, 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 and they're not taking care of themselves. You need to take care of yourself. All right? This says the little green fairy signifies and embodies the life force of the green world. She is tending to plants that are drooping, too moist, or too dry. She, like a nurse or a healer, is assigned to the plant realm, green forces, and small personal gardens alike. She is joyful every time someone gives energy to this realm. Every little bit of nature um, of these plants. Oh, oh, Lord, here we go. Every little bit helps nurture the plants, which are very tired. Fewer and fewer plants and trees and forces are expected to provide more and more life-giving oxygen for animals, elements, and us humans. All right? And... Sometimes she becomes overwhelmed with all we humans have done to the green world. So she may be about to ask for your help. When you give your help, blessings will be returned threefold. So this is what I'm getting from this. I feel like what she's trying to say is us humans, we've sucked the earth dry of our natural resources. We are so busy trying to develop new buildings 
all over the world. Like you, you, you know, we trying to be every place, all over the place, not realizing that we're tearing down the natural resources that we need in order for the human race to survive, which is the trees. The trees create oxygen. So if we are too busy tearing down the foundations with the earth has already provided us, we're not doing nothing but stagnating and in making what we need to survive eliminate and deplete itself so stop trying to build empires all over the place in different areas all over the world spreading all over the place so much that you don't even realize that you're depleting your own oxygen and eventually you're not going to be able to breathe Appreciate the resources that you have in front of you and take care of it. You know, in order for things to thrive and for things to live, you have to take care of it. You have to nurture it. You have to treat it well in order for it to grow. You can't just go knocking down trees and just building a, a cement fortress and think that, oh, you know, this is cement. It's not going, you know. Nothing to be able to get to me and I can hide from what I know. You can't hide. Like eventually once you realize that you ain't getting enough oxygen, you can't hide from the fact that certain things are, like they say, getting weak and withering. And if you cutting down all of the trees and you only got 20 trees to provide oxygen to the whole world, the world is in danger. So it's time for you to give back to your world and stop trying to create these cement fortresses that you think is going to change your atmosphere and you actually killing your own environment if that makes any sense so the green world is changing and i'm asking you for help this world needs you to tend to the green things in some ways right now and it's time for you to make a contribution it's time to plant a garden assist with theirs or share some food, flowers, or herbs from your own. Develop your connection with the solar energy. Find your own water source and depend less on supermarkets, ATMs, and electricity. Learn to live with her, the soul of the green world. By providing the world with this beautiful example, you are nourishing and nuturing the Mother Earth. Who needs to, who feels so tired nowadays. Find a forest, a grove, a tree, a fairy ring of mushrooms, somewhere that speaks to your soul and sit with it for a while. When she breathes her messages through the leaves and whispers the words of wisdoms into your ears, you will know it's the right place to devote your sacred time and devotion and to give your time and energy. I thank you in advance. The fairies will be sure to help you in return. So what I'm getting to this is find a patch of something that you can nurture and that can grow and that you can give your time and attention to and focus on one thing for right now give to it and it will give to you take time and grow plants and tend to a vegetable um, patch in herb in an herb garden Look into contributing some money or time and devotion into a cause into the green world. The natural forest and the wild uh, green spaces and the planet need your healing, kind, and tender heart right now. Your affluence will have great power. Make a donation to the Wildlife Foundation for the Green World. It says look into establishing a grove or visiting and offering your energetic support and prayers to the world where green spaces thrive and where wild creatures of the green woods continue to live in their own environment. See and visualize the world where green things grow and the fairy of the green uh, world will know that nature is safe while there are ones such as you in the world. It is time for growth and abundance, for the earth elements to find its way in true and strong and a beautiful life. Eat organic foods, go raw and detox. Find a water source and cleanse it. Be more self-sustaining and step away from unnatural systems and join the natural energies of the planets and the galaxies. So another thing I'm getting is that you want you to step away from technology. I feel like technology has been getting in the way of your life and that you just need to kind of like unplug from the matrix a little bit and just deal with the world naturally.
Spirit, please give me guidance for the signs of Cancer and March and March and clarify. Green world, thank you. The fairy of the green world. Lovers in reverse. You've been watching, and I feel like there's somebody from your past. It's a lover that you. there's um a past love you drinking your own cup mm -mm -mm. you're doing a lot of drinking cancer you were doing a lot of drinking cancer you need to chill off of the drinking bruh you need to chill off for the drinking. Give me some additional guidance, please. Too many options. Blinded by the options. Like I said, running around, trying to create fortresses all over the land. Don't even realize you're killing your own environment. Blinded and confused. Secrets. High Priestess. Yep. So let's get into this. Um, I feel like there's a breakdown in the relationship possibly that you're currently in. And um and I want to say that you're possibly looking for freedom. You're looking to detach yourself from this situation and you're looking for a way out. And um because this person is looking for clarity. But at the same time, I also want to say for certain cancers that I'm, I'm resonating this with the past love. Because nothing would make you drink this much unless it was a past love. <laughs> like, I mean, this is honestly what I'm getting. I, I feel like there is a current situation that you're with somebody that you're not in love with. And you are sending a lot of messages out. Um, possibly talking to people, looking for clarity. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like you're trying to find your way out of a situation. You're trying to get some mental clarity about it. And you might be talking to someone about the current situation that, that you're in. And I also feel like that you've been looking online at what your what somebody from your past, a love that is, is lost, has been doing. You've been sending that eagle eye out. I feel like maybe that you've been talking to people that know this person from the past. Because... If you look from if you look at this lover's card, this person has fallen and is hurt. And this man is trying to help her back up. You know? He's trying to extend that hand to her. And this person said that I don't want you to extend your hand to me anymore. I think you've done enough. Like you're the one that pushed me on this goddamn ground. And I feel like Cancer knows that. And I feel like Cancer has been looking back to this person that walked away from them that this in, that this relationship has ended to see if this person is okay if this person has picked their self up off of the ground but maybe the hurt that this person experienced from this love being lost and this person um meant a lot to cancer regardless of how things ended up like this person meant a lot to cancer and, I, and this this person is being spied on by cancer at the current moment because cancer wants to be in enough because i honestly feel like whatever happened in the past in regards to this situation that broke this person's heart where this young lady fell down and hurt herself in this situation dealing with this situation this lady hurt herself dealing with the situation and that's why there had to be a divorce and a breakup of the situation and that's why cancer can only 
search and look to figure out because there's no communication there's no communication but cancer has grown up a lot i really do feel right now he's in this king of wands energy um this is strength he's very passionate about the situation with this person and he's demonstrating a lot of strength i believe that he's been demonstrating a lot of strength by not reaching out to this person because I don't feel like this person really wants to have premature communication with this person. And he, you see that lion? He's been passionately holding back. I really do feel. And he's been, instead of communicating with this person from the past prematurely, he's been looking out to see if the coast is clear for him to send a message. And that's him being mature as the king now. Because I feel like in the past that this person was very immature. And that might have been what made this young lady fall and hurt herself. Okay. And this is the um, sign of Gemini. So the lover card is a Gemini. So I don't know if the person from the past or if the person that they're currently engaged with, that they are not in a very loving and affectionate connection that it looks like it might soon be the end of. Um... Yeah, let me keep going because I completely lost my damn thought. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like this person is not only sending the eagle out to find out what's going on with this past person that he's passionate about. He's also been waiting because he don't want to communicate prematurely to the person that they're with currently. Because he don't want there to be like a disaster. And he's trying to be mature this time. Because I feel like in the past that this cancer wasn't necessarily very mature with the endings. And I feel like he's hurt a lot of people in the way that things have ended in the past. And I feel like he wants to do the right thing by this one. So he's looking to figure out if the coast is clear so he can end something but also this person has been stalking the ex-person that he's been trying to find strength to hold his passions to keep his passions together because cancer wants a new beginning but there is like some extreme stagnation in regards to there being anything moving forward. Um, cause number one, let's just keep it 100. Motherfucker, you've been drinking a lot. Can we can we talk about this? Can we talk about this? You wanna know why there's been stagnation in, in, in new beginnings? Look at all of these cards, bro. You've been drinking a hell of a damn lot. I'm talking about a lot, bro. A lot. You've been over in freaking dull gene. And I'm sorry, y'all. I feel like my lighting is a little dull. Excuse me, guys. And I know it's about to burn my eyes up or whatever. I want it to be bright so that y'all can see. Because I want to make sure that y'all see how much this fool has been drinking. Like, you are throwing your life down into the cup. You were throwing your life down into the cup. And I feel like it's because this new beginnings is not taking off in regards to you in, in this situation, in this lost love that you 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 looking back in. You're looking back. You've been watching somebody. Somebody that your, that, that your relationship, y'all fell out of love. You've been watching somebody. And now you're finally mature enough. You know how to be faithful. You know how to be committed. You know how to keep your passions in the right place. The witch of the green world. You know how to focus on one garden. And not try to overdevelop yourself. Because. This lack of communication. I don't think that you've been getting the communication back. That the coast is clear to communicate yet. Because I don't see no forward movement. I don't see any forward movement. I see stagnation. In new beginnings. In new development. And I see drinking. I see in the current situation that you're in right now. You're bored. You're bored. Whoever you've been dealing with. I don't know if the person from your past is the Gemini. Or I don't know if the person you're currently dating is a Gemini. Whoever you're dating right now. You're bored the fucking hell. 
I feel like you've been ignoring this person and you've been drinking your sorrows away. And I honestly feel like the only thing that you can think about is this person from your past. Whoever this is that you've been looking back to, this love that you lost, you cannot get over this love that you've lost. And you're not paying attention to what is in front of you. You've drunk like all it look. All of these things are being offered to you in this current situation, but you're not even paying attention to it. You're not even interested in it. Like, only thing you're interested in is drinking your sorrows right now. You are so, I feel like you've been so intoxicated that you can't even make a decision of the heart and mind and make it balanced right now. Again, here you are drinking, and it's like you're drinking yourself into a drunken stupor again, like walking away from a situation. It's just like, look, I'm not happy where I'm at. I want to walk away. I feel like there's something better, and just so this person don't think that there's anything left, I'm about to drink everything in this damn and all eight of these cups, and I'm about to consume everything myself, and I'm about to go on about my business because I don't want this person to think that there's anything available. <laughs> like you are, I feel like whoever this cancer is, like I want to say you're selfish. Like you taking everything to yourself, you're giving all of your emotions to yourself. You're keeping it to yourself. And you're moving on. Because I feel like you have been blinded by so many options. You have so many options. You have so many cups to drink from. You have so many options. And you are so confused. You don't know what to do. You're worried about a situation from your past that you can't let go. You got a whole bunch of shit in front of you right now. You got a situation currently with somebody that you with that you don't even want to be with. And you're trying to figure out if the coast is clear to move on. And you're trying to be mature about it. You just been drinking and drinking and drinking. And you confused. Like, what the fuck, cancer? Like, come on, bruh. Like, come on, you need to make a decision and figure out what you want to do. And the thing is, is that you can't keep just consuming, 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 consuming. I think that's the thing. And that's what you that that has been what's been killing your environment. And that's why they're telling you, you need to slow down and stop consuming. You taking in so much. I feel like. You feel like you got to have all of these options. You got to have all of this shit all over the place. So you don't have. You don't never. I, I feel like. You rather have so many options. Regardless if they're good or bad. Just to have something to choose from. You don't even care about the quality. It's like fuck it. I'm going to drink it all. Like that. I mean. I'm going to drink it all. Hold on y'all. Excuse me. Fuck it. I'm going to drink it all. And I don't feel like... I feel like... um, Hold on. Where did this go? Boom, boom, boom. You're confused. And right now you need to follow your intuition. Because I feel like you're very emotional right now. You're very emotional. And I feel like the anxiety has been kicking your ass, Cancer. That's why you've been drinking like that. Anxiety has been kicking your ass. And you see that moon is calling you to bring your ass up out of that goddamn lake. And honestly, that is the lake of um like wisdom and intuition. You should be bathing in that. And really, I don't know why you are not like really following your intuition. Or maybe you are following. Maybe you took a bathe in this pool of intuition and balance and abundance. And now the moon is summonsing you to come out and to ask you, what did you learn? Because you see those towers in the back there. You know what those towers mean. Sutton, check. Lord Jesus. Good gracious, Lord, help me. Hold on, y'all. Hmm. My gracious, you guys, I am so sorry about the interruptions in this video, and I'm not editing it, so we're going to keep on going. Anyway, so you guys have to use your intuition now. It's time for you to use your intuition. There's been a lot of secrets that you've been going, that you've been holding on to. That's why you are so confused. That's why your anxiety has been biting your ass, and that is why you've been drinking so much. 
okay that is why you are so anxiety ridden and that's why you've been drinking so much and that is why you've just been all over the place and you've been planting yourself all over the place i feel like this cancer is uh, uh, you just only thing i'm gonna say you you've been planting yourself look you've been planting yourself all over the place <clears throat> I want to sing, boy, open everywhere, that I wish I didn't care. Mm -mm -mm. I've been Eve with cream, having vivid dreams of you, facing through people on TV screens, you've been everywhere. <laughs> That I wish I didn't care Boy, you've been everywhere <laughs> You've been everywhere, Cancer Certain change is going to come to you If you don't use your intuition and change certain habits about yourself that's why the moon is subbing you. They're asking you, what have you learned? What have you learned before you got to walk down there and, and <laughs> to these towers? Like, boy. <sighs> I need you to follow your inner wisdom, your inner guidance. I know that you want to come out and that you think that there's a lot of things that you have learned but there's a lot of things that you haven't learned and also you've been sneaky and you've been you've been sneaky and I feel like you've been being vindictive and you've been conniving almost because the high priestess in reverse is not she's scandalous do you see what I'm saying like she's very scandalous She's very, very scandalous. And that's why I'm saying, like, you've been everywhere. And I think you know what you're doing. But I don't really think that you really do understand what exactly it is that you have really got yourself fixed into. And um, it's stagnating new beginnings in your life the way that you've been carrying on, Cancer. Honestly. You need to make some decisions. Like, you need to stop willingly being blinded to the shit that you're doing. You're willingly and acting like you don't know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. You know that you'll be choosing the wrong options a lot of the times. And you still go through it and you do it anyway. You're just so self-consumed. You're just so busy with consuming every option that is available to you. It don't matter if it's good or bad. It's like, oh, well, I deal with the consequences. Well, okay, one day you're going to drink the wrong cup and you're going to wish you would have never picked that motherfucker up. You're going to wish. And you're going you're gonna to have to stop with the scans of this shit. Because all of the stuff that you've been doing, these secrets right over top of the moon, like you've been really doing some real... Come on, Cancer. And whoever this is also needs a drinking counselor. They need to, uh, I mean, this is a lot of drinking. You don't be getting to know the people that you be getting involved with. I just think that you just be, you don't even get a chance to know anybody. I feel like as soon as someone offers you a cup, you be like, oh yeah, I'll just take it. Like you don't even be seeing what the fuck they offering you for real, for real. And you need to separate from the person that you with because this person ain't your soulmate. And I honestly feel like you want to go back to your soulmate. You want to have a heart to heart conversation with this person and let them know that you're ready to leave. Because I told you that eight of cups, like you're ready to leave. Like not you're ready to leave, like you're leaving. And not only are you leaving, anything that's left there, like you're consuming it so that there's nothing left. <laughs> you're consuming it so there's nothing left. I want to say that you're leaving this person with nothing. <laughs> nothing emotional. Like you're not giving this person none of your emotions. You, you're, you've taken everything and you've consumed it for yourself. You need to let go of control. Situ okay, so I feel like in regards to the situation in your past, you need to let... 
you need to let this situation unfold naturally the way it's going to unfold. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry in this relationship to keep it going. The person that you're dealing with, there's not enough attraction. I don't, I don't even know. Like, I don't even know how you be getting yourself fixated in these situations, Cancer. Like, honestly, I feel like you just consume it any cup. And you just, you just consumed anything. You just consumed anything. You don't even be getting to know these people. You don't, you don't even really know this person. And it's like. I didn't really take the time to get to know you and I feel like I made the wrong decision. I drunk from the wrong cup yet again and I'm ready to go. Cancer is just ready to go already. They know that this person ain't they soulmate. This was just one of their options. This is one of their options. This isn't a soulmate. This is not something that they really want to give their time to. They know that this is not their soulmate. That's the love is in, in reverse. The Gemini is the love is in reverse. All right. So you want to tell this Gemini or whoever this is, you want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with this person. And I believe Cancer was coming up a lot in the Gemini reading as well. You want to let go of this situation. And you've been trying to let this shit unfold naturally. And that was... That was one of the things I was saying in the Gemini situation. Like the Cancer is crawling out of this cup going into the... Going back into the ocean. And the Gemini is just sitting there looking at the cancer going into the uh, ocean. But a crab moves slow. It doesn't move fast. And also they have a problem with releasing things. So I feel like if there is a cancer dealing with a Gemini. Because I just did the Gemini reading. So I'm just, you know, so I'm still remembering the Gemini reading. So if there is a and then there's the lovers, the Gemini right there. So if... There is someone that's dealing with a Gemini, okay? You're trying to let this situation unfold naturally. And I don't know why, like, you don't love this person. Like, you really, really don't love this person. There is nothing there. Like, there is nothing. There is really nothing there. Like, I don't understand why you just pussyfooting around from separating from this person that we started off the whole damn reading saying that you didn't want to be with the person that you're currently with because you're looking back at your damn ex. You can't even focus on your current situation that you're on. You're too busy looking at what your ex is doing and trying to get yourself together to be the person that your ex that, that your ex wanted to be, the person that you weren't being in that situation and feeling inadequate in that. Because you feel that this would be premature communication. You don't feel like you're ready to communicate back with the ex. That's why you've been drinking yourself to death. And you've been dogging the person out that you're currently with. And inevitably doing the same fucking shit that the person from your ex left you for. Seems like it to me. Because if this girl is on the ground, look, this girl is on the ground. This girl is on the ground. Like, you hurt this ex. This ex that left you, this person is on the ground, and the Gemini that you with is on the damn ground too. Because you ain't showing that girl no love neither. So I don't know if this is, if Cancer is on the receiving end of this, if this is what Cancer is going through, that they're with someone that has been drinking a lot, but this, this reading is a whole lot of water. Whole lot of water and a whole lot of fire. Moons, Pisces, High Priestess. I believe that's Pisces too. Isn't that Pisces? What is High Priestess? Ace of Wands. That's um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. All the rest of that's cups. And then just, you know. Age of Swords. That's air. You don't you don't know how to purge. You don't know how to throw away things that are no longer serving you. And you have commitment issues. <laughs> Brother, father, sister, cousin, cousin. Oop, they go to observer card. You trying to get your vibes back, and that's why you've been looking. You've been spying and observing this ex. 
you can't purge your emotions with this person either. You've been trying to block out that dark night of the soul so that you can get back to this union with that ex. You've been trying to get you've been trying to get rid of this dark energy. This 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 pattern that you've been facing that you've been dealing with for such a long time. Karmic partner. Why well, I just I, I because I kept, I'm like, why isn't this like closing? Yeah, this is, anyway. So, like I said, cancers, like I said from the beginning, little clinchy paws. You got a clause. You guys have a problem with throwing stuff away. Y'all hold on to things. And this cancer has commitment issues big time. Like I told you, this person likes to just over consume everything that's offered to him. It's like you could be in a happy situation, in a happy relationship where you having everything, all your needs met. Someone come and be like, hey, you want some pussy? Be like, oh, hey, yeah, well, hell, I'll go ahead and take some more pussy. Like that's his... <laughs> Pussy, everybody like pussy. Like that's just cancer. Like especially if it's a male cancer. It's like oh, thank you, pussy. <laughs> like the, anyway, anyway. You are focusing on positive vibes. I feel like your vibes have been knocked off. I feel like whatever. What's making you happy has not been in your atmosphere anymore. And you've been worrying and wanting those vibrations back, those positive vibrations. And I feel like this is possibly the vibrations that you've been getting from your ex. And I feel like even though your ex left you and you hurt this person and this person moved on from you and you have all of these options, none of them can give you the vibrations your ex gave you. None of them. Otherwise, why are you worried about her? Why are you looking at her? Why are you on her profile looking at her pictures? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. You've been trying to battle that dark night of the soul. You've been trying to battle and, and, and figure out how can I purge and get rid of all of these people and all these options that I done accumulated that I don't know what to do with and that's confusing the shit out of me because I don't know how to get rid of it because... I have commitment issues and I really love my ex. This person I'm going back stalking the fuck out of her online. But I don't know how to, I'm battling. I don't know how to fight these demons that's deep inside of me. But I love this person. That union, you're finally using your intuition, that moon. You're being guided by the intuition. That's why they asked you, well, what did you want? What did you learn? The moon asked you. When they told you to bring your ass out of that goddamn water, that pool of that intuition and wisdom, what did you learn? I love my ex. That union meant the most to me. That is the one that gave me the most positive vibrations. That's why I can't stop going back looking at this person. That's why I can't stop thinking about this person. That's why I've been drinking myself to fucking death. Okay? I'm currently in a karmic situation. And I'm trying to get the hell out of it. They go to moon again. Boom. Insight. Intuition. And this karma situation has been giving you anxiety like shit. And it's been driving you to drink even more than the fact that you've already been unhappy about the fact that you lost the love of your life. <laughs> you don't know how to find healing. And you don't came to the conclusion. Alright. That you don't want... The person that you're with a part of your tribe anymore. Because if it was in the upside, this is sunny days. This is rainy days. Rainy days, a cloud has came over your tribe. And you want change. You want change. You want the sun to shine. You want new grass, new development. But you don't know how to let go of your pride and ego. Your pride and ego has blocked you from doing the right thing. You don't feel admired anymore. You don't feel admired, loved, and acknowledged. And I feel like in order for this person... This person has a, 
it's it's something missing right here. This pride in their ego. In order for this person to have a boost of their pride and ego, they need to feel admired. They need a certain level of admiration. They need constant admiration for them to boost their pride and ego. That's why they surround themselves with so many options. They're neglecting to do this shadow work. They need to dig deep and, and, and dig deep into that soul, that dark night of the soul. They need to go deep into the darkness of what is really plaguing them right now. We got substance abuse issues. We this person stalking. <laughs> it's like no. This person off balance and confused, don't have um healing. This person isn't using their intuition correctly. This person has commitment issues. This person has uh Issues dealing with their pride and ego. All right. You got some deep diving that you need to do. You got some very deep diving that you need to do in regards to the shadows. Okay. So let me dig into the shadows. You guys are going to end up with a long reading, unfortunately. No, because we need to figure out what's going on. Spirit, please give me guidance in regards to what's going on in the shadows with cancer. Is secretive. What does it say? You're secretive and you're uncomfortable. I feel like you're secretive and you are extremely uncomfortable in the situation that you're in right now. And I feel like you're consuming anything right now to find some new bait to get the fuck out of the situation that you're currently in. Because you are extremely uncomfortable and you are trying to get out of that. You feel like this is a robotic situation. It's the same thing over and over again. And you do not like robotic. You know what? I feel like they're good in situations. But once it feels robotic. Like you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. They get bored and they want to find something new that is intriguing and exciting. Um, cancer is extremely misguided. I feel like there's something in the past that someone gave them some wrong information and just had a wrong upbringing. They're extremely misguided and going through a lot of pain right now. I feel like the cancer is going through a lot of pain, especially they feel like they lost the love of their life and they've been drinking themselves to death and they've been really dealing with some very serious substance abuse issues here. Um, faithless. I don't feel like they have faith in... I want to say faithless for real. I don't I don't feel like they believe in marriage. I don't think that they believe in going to church. Um, they believe in God, but I don't think that they really have any faith in God and that change is really going to happen. And they're in a place of lack and they're in a lot of pain. I don't know. They don't they they, they feel like they've lost their power. They feel like they lost the power because they're not being admired anymore by this person from their past. And it took a big blow to their pride and their ego. And they've been drinking like shit. What is this? This is stagnation. They're trying to come out of this stagnation. They really want to come out of this stagnation, you guys. Let's get some clarification on this. And then I'm going to do... Uh, career spread in regards to your life purpose focus and then we're going to get up out of here you guys because I know this is already long reading alright thank you so much but yeah Chancey you, you've been being too sneaky like I said that high priestess in reverse you are very very sneaky and, and like you've been doing a lot of untrustworthy stuff like I don't, like the way you've been going about ending ten of pentacles Damn, double ending. Ten of Swords. God damn, Cancer. Come on. Like everything in your life is just like ending, ending. Conflict, competition. Five. Giving the two. <laughs> Brother. Oh, brother, brother, brother. Oh, man, what I'm trying to say, player from the Himalaya 
And you wondering why ain't nothing positive coming into your life? Because you be dogging people the fuck out. If you constantly, 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 one after another, after another, after another, after another, you dogging people out and you leaving the trail of just bodies behind you. What the fuck you think is going to come to you? You are destroying your natural world. You are killing out. You are cutting down all of the trees that was giving you oxygen to breathe. And you've been over consuming. You're so self consumed and been over consuming with all of these cups that you've been drinking. You're so confusing. You're so drunk and you're so just. <sighs> the financial. I, I, I feel like your financial world is, is in a disarray right now. I feel like there's a breakdown in your financial foundation and also in your home environment. I feel like there's a complete ending to your current situation in your home environment. So if you're in a situation with someone and this situation is ended, I see you possibly going back home. I see you possibly going back home. All right. Someone is leaving this relationship, being backstabbed and betrayed. And honestly, I want to say, I want to say, Cancer, you might end up getting your own karma in this situation. Because I want to say, this person don't see that they're going to be betrayed. They don't even see this one coming. So I feel like, why you been out doing your dirt with your secrets? Doing your thing. You, you've you been too drunk. You ain't been paying attention. You ain't been doing your own thing. I think you will end up eating your own karma. Because I want to say that you will end up getting backstabbed and betrayed in a major way. And you ain't going to see this coming. Not only are you not going to see this coming. But you're going to end up losing your financial foundation. Your home foundation. And you're going to end up losing everything. Double time. Ten on ten. Physically and mentally. Complete breakdown and destruction because there was some competition going on in your uh <laughs> It was too much competition It was too much competition. It was too much of a fight. It was too much of a battle It was too much arguing. It was too much gossip. It was too much petty rumors. It was too much It was too much Wasn't nobody working together and you were out there giving yourself too too You were spreading yourself too thin you were planting Cement foundations all over the world. All over the world. If you're spreading yourself so thin, you can't do nothing but give people crumbs. And you got all these people coming to you. But what about me? What about me? Because you just set all these foundations all over the place. If you don't set all these foundations all over the place, you got to take care of all of this stuff. And then you don't turn around and you realize, I ain't even got nothing to give y'all for real. This person is looking like shit. I'm trying to balance this shit out to figure... Look, he trying to balance his shit out to figure out if he got anything to give. He only ain't really got nothing to give like that. <laughs> not only that, you're not working on yourself. Your reputation is fucked up. You're known as a janky um, salesman. You sell bad crafts, counterfeit crafts. You try to, like, put the fake, um, who can I say? You put the fake Chanel logo on and make people think that it's a real Chanel whole time. That's from Canal Street. As soon as they get around the corner, the strap break off the bag. But you don't care about your reputation. As long as you're getting what you want, you don't care. Your reputation is shit in the street and you don't even give a fuck. As long as you get what you want, you don't care. As long as you're able to celebrate with all these beautiful women, you don't give a fuck. And then again, drinking, celebration, partying, right? With a lot of women. Yeah. Please give cancer. Ooh. Please give cancer guidance and regards to their life purpose. And then we up out of here. Because I can't take no more. I can't take no more. I'm just sorry because I'm just disgusted. I'm just disgusted. All this drinking. This... Like this, the moon on top of the high priestess in reverse. Like, come on. Like, this person is low, down, dirty, sneaky, and trifling. Like, come on. Like, almost disgusting. 
this person don't give a fuck about their reputation. Like this is this is bad. Like this is trifling. And you're not taking care of your body. And you're not you're not demonstrating any leadership whatsoever. You just laying down, allowing shit to happen in your career and, and in your personal life. You need balance. And you're not eating right. Like you are destroying your natural body. You are destroying your body. And that's why she's saying that she wants you to take better care of your body and eat right. Eat right. And you need, boy, oh boy, the universe about to take your ass to school. You need to pay more attention to what you're feeding your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul. Pay attention to your thoughts. Think more positively. If you're feeding your mind positive thoughts, thought positive things will come to you in your universe. If you're eating and taking care of your body, you'll have more energy. You have more insight. You can think more clearly. Your heart can beat and can give properly. Stop depleting all of your resources. You're depleting all of your resources. Eventually, you're not going to have no air to breathe. And I feel like you've been drinking yourself into a damn stupor. You're going to end up. You're going to end up. You're going to end up hurting yourself. You'll end up hurting yourself. And you're not demonstrating no leadership and breaking off situations. Like, you have a hard time breaking off shit. And you need to do that. You need to get balanced. Yoga. You need to balance yourself, okay? I feel like people have been speaking to you about your situation and you ain't been listening. You have not been taking the insight and you've been taking... Nor have been taking the guidance in regards to what people have been trying to tell you that you need to do to fix certain things in your life. There's certain things that you're holding on to that you need to let go, that you are refusing to let go. And not only certain people, certain places and certain things, there's certain places that you need to stop going to. There's certain people that you need to stop hanging around. There's certain people that you just need to get out of your life in general and you are trying to hold on to it for dear life. I don't know why, but you better get yourself together or the angels is going to take your ass to school of the hard knocks. You hear me? One more spread and we up out of here. One more spread. Woo, this was a deep one, y'all. Come on, Cancer. Y'all always do it to me. What is this? Be honest with yourself, Cancer. Be honest with yourself about the stuff that you're going through. You need to properly give and receive. You've just been taking and consuming. And it's perfect timing. Perfect timing for what? To clean up your world, make your your world more natural, more green. Is there any other messages for the sign of cancer? Let go of your past. You need to let go of these past behaviors. You need to listen. You need to be honest with yourself. You know this toxicity and this and you know what you're creating for yourself. I'm so sorry, y'all. Y'all have been had interruption after interruption after interruption. Y'all had interrupted action, interruption after interruption. Be honest with yourself about the situation. You know what you need to do to change your situation, okay? You need to give good to the world to receive good from the world, okay? Stop putting bullshit out to the universe if you don't want your... If you keep giving the world shit and, treat, and treating people like shit, doing this. Doing this. Being sneaky. Having all these secrets. Having all of these options. Acting like you don't see what you're doing to people and how you're hurting people. Leaving people behind. And drinking everything. Taking everything for yourself and leaving people from behind. Still drinking. Not paying attention. You get into situations with people and then you get them all excited. Then you easily get bored and then you drink the cup that you were acting like you would like. Like it's like, here I'm offering you this cup of love. Psych of mine. I'm about to drink this shit myself. <laughs> like it's terrible. It's terrible. If you want good, you got to give good to the universe and it's perfect timing for you to let go of these past behaviors so that good can come to you cancer listen cancer this has been long enough i love you shout out to all my cancers i really hope that you guys come to this growth and elevate elevate it's time to grow baby leadership behind like 
You can't just find one girl. You can't find one girl to be satisfied with. All right. I don't know if this is you, Cancer, that's doing this. I don't know if this is someone doing this to Cancer because the energies can be vice versa. But whoever this is has been going through an extreme amount of pain because they lost someone that they truly love by doing this bullshit. But yet you're still doing this bullshit. So when the fuck are you going to learn? Haven't you lost enough? You would think. All right, I'm out. If this video resonated, if you want a personal and private reading, go ahead and click that About tab, all right? Please make sure that you like and subscribe to this video, all right? And um, if this video resonated and you want to um, give a love donation, you can do so. The link for my PayPal is in the description. And I love you, and I will see you guys in the mid-month. Peace. Thank you for supporting Scorpion Reds Tarot.